Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in surviving the aftermath. All right, guys. So we've got stuff going on. We've got specialists out here in the field. Did you get my medal? You were able to get twenty-four. Me okay. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So you were able to get twenty-four medal and ninety-seven coins from there, but you only have a plus 50 okay well i don't know then don't know don't know i mean you got the medal so i'm happy we're gonna go ahead and hop in here and i'm gonna move and i don't know how am i gonna move i'm gonna move up here i'm gonna let you let you get out and do your thing right there is what i'm gonna do hold on did you not get out Remove yourself. There you go. Talking to me. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Oh, and there's another vehicle here with no action points in it. So is it unfueled? That's cool. Uh, we've got some food there. That's let's see, twenty-two a day. So it'd take you two days. Let's go ahead and get that. Let's make you useful. You're way out here anyway. You're gonna get that. You're gonna bring that back, Dragon. You're finally at my medal here, bud. You are finally at my medal. If you're one hundred percent gathers. All right. So maybe we can get the medal. Maybe we can get this built. Maybe it'll get built before then and we'll just have extra metal sitting around. I don't know. Uh, okay, the, the thingy's here. Can I upgrade it? What does it cost? Uh, 50 metal. Wow. Wow, that's a big cost. Uh, yeah, I don't even... I don't even know. I don't even... We can't even do that one. That is... I don't want to say it's ridiculous, but wow, that's a, uh, that's something special right there. That is most definitely something special. Yeah, I thought it was going to be like, you know, hey, 10, 15 metal here, a little bit over here, a little bit over there. No, no, they, they went off the deep end. They said, you're going to get all this. They straight up did. How's our crops doing? They're growing. Okay. We unlocked the greenhouses too, right? Yeah, I figured those would take metal. It figures. You know, honestly, I want to argue with the fact that the more that I think about it, I think the insect farm should have been something that we could have had, like, from the beginning. Or, like, a lot sooner. And I don't know if it should necessarily take, take, uh, take electricity. I mean, yeah, electricity is probably nice to have for it. But, I mean, you could grow bugs just under an old damp log. I mean, you know. I don't know how good they would be, but, you know, some crickets. I don't even know. I don't even know if you need a light for crickets. I mean, if you kept them in a, in a glass box and you had, like, you know, sun on them, maybe, maybe that would work. I don't know. I'm not. I don't raise bugs, guys. I don't raise the bugs. I don't know if that would work or not. I'm just saying, you know, bugs grow without electricity, so you find them out in the wild all the time. Don't believe me? Roll over a log. I guarantee you'll find something. Alright, we've got some metal right there. Good job, dragon. Take it back here for me now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're close to the uh, the edge of the map as well. Pretty, pretty sure. It's alright though. So far, I am digging what we've got going. Because we've 
We've survived I don't know how many different catastrophes. We've pushed past hardships, bandit raids. We've done this. We've done that. I'm liking where the colony's at at the moment. Okay, speaking of which, let's see what we can do to upgrade things. Um, prescriptions might be nice. Yeah, let's do prescriptions. Let's let's increase our healing speed. Being able to heal people f as fast as possible is probably a good thing. I would say. Uh, what do we got? Trade convoy has arrived. Very, very nice. All right, let's see what what we got going. You're selling planks. You're selling fiber. That fiber might be a good thing to have. What do I have that I can sell back, other than like plastic? We could sell some antibiotics. That's worth a little bit. We've got wheat. We can't use it because we don't have the bakery and stuff. Got all kinds of junk. Although that would be if we ever build the building to turn it into parts. That would be... That'd be a good commodity to hang on to. See, that's the problem with me in this game. Is that everything I look at, I'm like, ooh, it has value. It has, you know, more value for me to keep than the sell. <sighs> yeah, I don't think that's going to work. What do y'all have? Five electronics, huh? And I need, what, 50 of those? Is what it said. Yeah, that's going to be... That's going to be a little bit. That is most definitely going to be a little bit on that one. Uh, what about down here? Eh, all you got is the sheep and we don't have the farm yet. Okay. Well, unfortunately, that is a thing. Dragon. Go to the outpost. And you were able to get 35 cans of food. That's nice. <sighs> more components, more stuff. Alright, I say... You've got food, you've got metal. Let's go ahead and return to the colony. Getting that metal back and some extra food should be priority. I mean, we've got a nice, good assortment of food. I'm just waiting for the next disaster to totally screw us over. Because, uh, yeah, that, that happens every time that happens. Okay, so... We are still growing. That one's at 92%, so that one's about to harvest. This one is at 90 something. Wow. Okay, so we're harvesting 117 there. That's nice. That is very nice. And we've got raiders. What do we got? Some post-apocalyptic groups are less adept at building and have resorted to taking from others with violence when necessary. Local raider activity has picked up recently and several gangs have been spotted looting in more isolated areas. It'd be a good time to strike while they're concentrated on ransacking these locations. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so where are we at? We are here and we've got a location up here. A location here. Does it say? It doesn't show us how strong the bandits are. Uh, let's see, Garoti, world map, Makita, world map, uh, who else is good at fighting? My scout's not too bad at fighting, yes, yeah, send you to the world map as well. 
Hold up, hold up, no, get, why are you not? I'm gonna move my lumber yard again. Move you over here. All right, you are the scout. You can go the furthest. There's one there, there's two there, there's three there. Okay, I want you to go there. Oh wait, you weren't my scout, you were Garoti. Yeah, you're still good. Uh, you go up there. And then you... Go to the close one. Good. Alright, we got that dragon. Turn to the outpost. That way the metal gets dropped off. Um, I want you to go get these pills. And you just get back to the colony. Yeah, because I got more people being irradiated again. Alright, y'all get this fish farm built. That way we can have some fishy fish. There we go. Well, at least they're getting a single path right there. Might not be a double, but it's something. Come on, build it up. I want to see what kind of fishes we get. I'm losing my hair. I bet you are losing your hair. Alright, go ahead and return that to the colony. So close. Okay. So they're all engaged in combat now. That's good. Yes, build my fishy farm. Nice, we're getting people born. That's good. That's always a good thing. Our happiness is up. Yeah, that's so much better just having one one or two things up here versus that whole list of red we had the other day as people start dying. Uh, <laughs> yeah. 12 a day, huh? That's a, that's a pretty good chunk right there. Okay, yeah, I'm liking that. Yeah, we should keep... That should be good. Alright, so... Even though... Wow, we have like no wood. Why do we have no wood? Where's my... My fire dudes? Uh, you're the lumberyard. Forester. School. Tools. General storage. Logging. Add a second person to you. And your area is way over there. You know what? Let's move your work area down. And let's focus right there. 
Uh, bandits approach the gate. Why? Why do bandits gotta approach my gate? Okay, first group didn't have much on them, but you help yourself to anything intact or useful. 30 food. Return to the colony, please. You're ready. Yes, these raiders haven't had been successful either, but at least you don't have to go back completely empty handed. 20 clothing. Awesome. Return to the colony. And Nikita. The final group of raiders has clearly been the dominant one. Their loot suggests visiting several locations prior to this and taking whatever they wanted by force. They won't be harassing survivors anymore. 10 fun boxes and 25 parts. Works for me. Uh, what do y'all want? Small group of bandits approach the gate, dragging someone with them. The leader points a gun to the captive's head and yells, We found your colonists snooping around our camp. You want them back? Parlay this sod's life for some of that sweet loot you got stashed. The colonist is definitely not one of yours, but their life is at stake. <sighs> 20 food for a colonist. I guess we'll pay it. We got three happiness, though. You know, we saved somebody. Yay! Our colony did good. All right, um, and no, no, oh, this is going to be bad. We don't have, yep, this might be it, guys. This one might be it. <sighs> you know, I don't know if the distance between the building and the place has any effect on it but yeah we're about to we're about to freeze um as far as food goes now nah, we're good on food but we're going to be cold we are most definitely going to be cold and the fish farm is going to be shut down so well let's get into it let's see what happens if it's not one thing it's another right Yeah, we'll bring them all back. Yeah, y'all harvest those potatoes. Mm. Yeah, I don't have that. And I'm not going to be able to get to that. Okay. We used up all of our all of our research points. We're poor again. And it has begun. We got three logs though. I'm going to try to move this right back over here and see if having it closer helps. I am so glad that these have like fuel stored in them from last time. See, look at that 13 in there. Okay, so we're not totally, we're not totally like horrible here. They do have fuel stockpiled in these things. Some of them have more than others, but yeah, so we'll be able to survive at least a day or so with what we got. Wandering merchant. Okay, so we can either get parts, parts, or we can get clothing. I'm going to go with the clothing. 
If nothing else, it gives us 10 winter or 10 clothing, so maybe that will help with the winter. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, they instantly grab those things. They're like ours, ours, ours. They're like, we need clothing. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling like there needs to be a little bit, a little bit more of a balance here. Either I did, like, just horribly as far as, like, the clothing stuff goes, or, you know, I don't know. They, they redid the tech tree, and we have suffered as far as tools and clothing ever since they redid the tech tree. So, I don't know. Maybe they should make it to where you can make a certain type of uh, clothing out of plastic. I mean, you know, a winter jacket made out of like half the amount of fiber and some plastic versus nothing but fiber. I don't know. Just a thought. Just a thought. You know what? I'm going to turn I'm going to turn this back on. Yeah, we've got a little bit of fiber here. I'm just going to let them try to do stuff. I don't know. I mean, at least they're well fed, right? It's okay, guys. It might be freezing cold, but, you know, we've got... We've got warm... We've got warm... Uh, full bellies to keep you warm. <laughs> yeah, that's all I can say. Full bellies to keep you warm. Yep, water collector down. That's down. This guy has just a little bit of wood left. Yep, hypothermic. That's not going to be good. Not going to be good at all. We're going to start losing people again. So, and from a nuclear, well, from the, not, from the winter, the nuclear winter, yeah, I don't know. No, the school froze. Oh, two colonists are hyperthermic. All right, well, this, <laughs> this is where it starts. Eight colonists, yeah, we're freezing now. There ain't nothing I can really do except ride out the storm. I saw it. They had three pieces of wood. Each one of y'all take one piece of wood to a different partner. <laughs> uh, 13 colonists are hypothermic. Yeah, we're gonna... We're probably not gonna survive this one, guys. This is probably it. Uh, this land holds many mysteries. What do you got? Fabulously fa fascinating fungus. Some colonists have found an odd bright red fungus that seems to be resistant to the harmful effects of the pollution deposits near it. You could take it to a medical tent and run some experiments on it, but that will take both time and resources. Running the test will be expensive and your colonists might not like having their resources spent on non-immediate needs. I say we spend some parts on it. Uh, your colonists extract some of the fungus and get to work after a lot of measuring, cutting, diluting, and microscoping, and so forth. Nothing seems to happen. Eventually, the colonists return to you with a nervous look on their faces. Um, so we had a bit of a mishap, one of them explains. Apparently, the fungus contaminated the medical tent and has taken quite the liking to it. Most of the, its structure has been eaten away by the rot and will require extensive repairs. Wow, and it instantly set it on fire. It's a good thing I have my other medical facility up here. It is a good thing. 
Hey, y'all huddle around the burning structure. It'll keep y'all warm. 22 colonists. 24, 26. Uh, there are... <laughs> the number just keeps climbing. It's like the day after tomorrow. Things are going bad. Thirty-three. Noah died, froze to death. That's the first one. He is now a popsicle. Forty colonists hypothermic. This is the only place where there's heat, and it's the not so good burner. Uh, died of old age, was born, froze to death. Forty of them are hypothermic. That's like two thirds of our population. But we still have food. We still have food. Whoa. Yeah, here we go. It started. Yeah, y'all come in. Y'all want to freeze? By all means, come on in. No, people have turned hostile. Bad things happen. Yeah, I know we have no carriers left. That's because everybody is freezing to death. Like, literally, look at them. They're turning into popsicles. Oops. I keep scrolling out too far. Burn the planks, I don't care. Nine colonists died, no carriers. Colonists died, colonists died. Another one down. Yeah. It's the end of the world and we know it. It's the end. Well, guys, I think it was a good run. We got a lot of stuff done. We moved way down through the tech tree. Um, yeah. I just don't see there being any way out of this one. I mean, yeah, I could have sent my specialist out, but it hasn't even been two days, and they wouldn't have been able to bring back any wood anyway. As it finally starts to warm up, I think, down to 34 people, a torturous speech echoes through the colony. Uh-oh. Uh, colonist rushes towards you and hastily explains that there's, that there's a problem with one of the extractors. You follow him and find the extractor completely halted, occasionally screeching and twitching. Another colonist is already inspecting the insides. We got some loose scrap uh, bolted between the cogs. I think I can pull it out would let us avoid any further damage, she says. Let her pull the scrap out. Do it the safe way. You know it's... You know either way we're going, something bad's about to happen. Uh, the image of someone's hand getting crushed into machinery makes your skin crawl. You tell the colonists that you're definitely not going to do that and will instead shut down the extractor and take it apart. The machine is shut down and dismantled just enough to pull the rogue scrap out. The extractor will need some repairs. Okay, that's good. At least we didn't lose someone's hand to it. I mean, that would have been, you know, completely bad. Um, so, yeah, we have no people left, and... Okay, so how do I fix this one? Okay, so, 
we're still alive. We still got food. We still got water. We still got electricity. And I'm not sure where to take this. Um, I guess we're going to keep running it, guys, until we run it all the way into the ground. I just, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm trying to think of how I can remove and, like, resituate the remaining people to different jobs so that we can keep keep living and all that stuff so i don't know we'll see we shall see but anyway that is going to do it for today's video i do hope everybody has enjoyed it if you have be sure to hit that like button and if you haven't already do me a favor hit that subscribe button it is an awesome 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 way for you to show your support to me to the channel to the video and to the game itself and as always feel free to share the video on any social media you're using guys just like to stop take a moment and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful awesome support all the comments all the likes all the subscribers and all the videos shared it is awesome and i do appreciate it and with that being said until next time survivors keep on surviving <laughs>